Chancellor, we now come to the conferment of the first honorary graduate in this afternoon's ceremony. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome Chuan Po Lim to Cranfield today. Chuan Po Lim is the chairman of ASTAR, which is Singapore's agency for science, technology, and research. It is a globally recognized institution with an ethos that echoes that of Cranfield University. ASTAR aims to drive and sustain world-class scientific research that supports Singapore's economic growth and enhances people's lives and develops industry. In doing this, ASTAR brings together its own research institutes, public sector agencies and universities, among others, to work together with private sector industry. This is in order to drive research and innovation for better economic and societal outcomes. His dedication to these aims is shown by him personally interviewing every high school candidate that wishes to join the A-Star Graduate Academy. As well as his leadership of A-Star, Mr. Lim dem demonstrates his commitment to science and technology as a board member of Singapore's National Research Foundation a key, and is a key contributor to the National Robotics Program, as well as advanced manufacturing and engineering activities all subjects close to Cranfield's heart. But it is not only in Singapore that Mr. Lim champions education and research. His influential work is recognized across the globe. He's a board and council member of the Science and Technology in Society Forum. He's a member of Japan's World Premier International Initiative Program Committee. And Mr. Lim was also conferred with the Légion d'honneur by the French government in 2016. Mr. Lim was appointed in 2007 to lead ASTAR. Prior to his role as chairman, he was permanent secretary at the Ministry of Education. During his time at the ministry, he championed the autonomy of universities, something which we in the UK recognize as a prerequisite to deliver excellence in higher education. As a consequence, he has helped Singapore's research-intensive universities develop over the last decade, so that today they are among the best in the world. Before joining the ministry, Chuan Po Lim spent 23 years with the Singapore Armed Forces, and his last position was as Chief of the Defence Force. This is another common point of interest for Cranfield, with many officers from the Singapore Armed Forces having studied with Cranfield Defence and Security at our Shrivenham site. In recognition of his significant contributions to the Singapore Armed Forces, Mr. Lim was awarded the Public Administration and the Meritorious Service Medals. He has twice been awarded the US Legion of Merit Degree of Commander. Chancellor, Mr. Lim's career mirrors the life of this university, a distinguished period of military service as we are here today on what was the base of RAF Cranfield, followed by a passionate commitment to advancing science and technology, as Cranfield University does now. Given the chairman's dedication to transformational research and the similarity of the missions between the organization he leads, ASTAR, and ourselves, I'm delighted he has agreed to be conferred as an honorary graduate of our university. And so, Chancellor, I'm authorized by council and by senate to ask you to confer on Chuan Po Lim the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa. I'm delighted to admit you to the degree of Doctor of Science honoris causa. Thank you very much. Chancellor, Baroness Young of Old Scone, Vice-Chancellor Sir Peter Gregson, 
Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Tom Stevenson, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of you. Let me first thank the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor and Cranfield University for this award. When I was a young army officer and still working on my career, as many of you would, I asked to attend the weapons staff course at Srivanam. To my disappointment, I was told by the Ministry of Defence that it was not necessary for my career development. I wanted very much to get a proper foundation in military technology and to learn from the Cranfield's military technology experts. So I did the next best thing. I borrowed notes from someone who attended the course. I suppose I've not done too badly in my military career after that. It is therefore very meaningful for me to be receiving this honorary degree from Cranfield today. At the same time, I'm mindful that this award is also a positive recognition of how Singapore and ASTAR have advanced in terms of research, innovation, and enterprise. I'm privileged to play a part in this journey alongside many other distinguished colleagues and partners, both local and international. Over the years, Singapore has benefited greatly from its deep and long-standing research and innovation ties with the United Kingdom, forged through collaborations with universities and industry, and very importantly, the exchange of talent. Just a fortnight ago, Singapore was honoured to co-host the second Commonwealth Science Conference with the UK's Royal Society. There are around 8,000 Singaporean students enrolled in excellent UK universities including Cranfield. ASTAR, my agency alone, has sent over 400 promising young students on scholarships to the UK to pursue both undergraduate, PhD, as well as postdoctorate fellowship. And this happened since 2001. Apart from sending our very young talent to study here, ASTAR also has given a variety of scholarships at the undergraduate and PhD level to nearly 200 students from the UK since 2008, and there will be more in the years ahead. This is part of our open talent strategy, sending Singaporeans to the best institutions overseas and bring the best from overseas to Singapore. More specifically, many Singaporeans have benefited from Cranfield's graduate programs that train talent to be industry ready. Cranfield's focus on talent development and industry collaboration is very similar to ASTAR's position to bridge the gap between academia and industry. Aviation is an important part of Singapore's economy, and Singapore is an aviation hub. We are connected to the rest of the world through our airport, with about 7,000 flights landing or departing each week. It is also one of the world's busiest airports for international air cargo, handling close to 2 million tons annually. To help develop our reputation as an aviation hub, Singapore has linked up with Cranfield through your internationally renowned aviation postgraduate program. Cranfield, of course, has a distinguished history in aviation research and capabilities grown out of the College of Aeronautics, established some 70 years ago. In 2014, Cranfield and the Singapore Aviation Academy jointly launched the Master of Science in Air Transport Management. This was the first ever program offered in Asia by Cranfield. In addition, Cranfield is also renowned for flight safety and air accident investigation. <coughs> Our officers in the Transport Safety Investigation Bureau regularly enrolled in your courses. These partnerships have been a boost to human capital development for the aviation industry in Singapore. Cranfield has also been a valuable partner in nurturing younger specialists in the aerospace industry. 
One collaboration with a local university trains the next generation of aerospace professionals through the Bachelors of Engineering Aerospace Systems program. Your colleagues have also very generously given us their time and shared their experiences through seminars and workshops. And some of your alumni are now part of the A-Star family. In fact, Professor Sir John O'Reilly, former Vice Chancellor of Cranfield University, now serves as Chairman of A-Star Science and Engineering Research Council. We hope that this connection will continue to grow and that there will be more opportunities for mutually beneficial collaboration and exchange of ideas. On this note, I would like to congratulate the graduating class from Cranfield School for Transport Systems and Manufacturing. All of you have just received the best possible education and preparation for your journey ahead. I have no doubt that you'll make your mentors here at Cranfield University proud, and I wish you all the best. Once again, I thank Cranfield University for this award, and I look forward to deepening our partnership and friendship. Thank you very much. <laughs>